Hi there, Grant McComey here on yet another outdoor adventure with Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. Well, if a summer heat wave has got you feeling a little too warm and you're looking for a cool retreat, I've got just the adventure for you as we feel a million miles away from city hubbub and noise and go aboard sea kayaks to paddle the mighty Columbia River. Trying something new and risky takes courage. What we'd like to have you do, if you would, for me, is come and sit right down here on the dock. And then you're going to put both your feet in first right in front of the seat. But if you're convinced that it's right for you, risk pays off with adventure. More people tip over at the dock than any other place in the water, <laughs> either getting in or getting out. And safety is everything when Steve Gibbons paddlers gather at Scapoose Bay Marina. This is the very center of the paddle. So you want to have an overhand grip on both sides, same distance from here to here. It's a cozy fit inside the cockpit of a smooth-sided 14-foot sea kayak as Chris and I prepare to travel the mighty Columbia. And then Grant's job is to make the kayaking look good. So when you paddle left, he paddles left. When you paddle right, he paddles right. Many are newcomers to this stretch where tide and weather can change in a heartbeat. Let's go out and have some fun. But on a gentle summer's day, Scapoose Bay offers protection, so no need to worry. Only time for practice as we meet a river. We're going to leave Scapoose Bay, work our way down the channel across the Multnomah Channel and over into Savi Island into a beautiful little paddle called Cunningham Slough. This is not an Olympic event. It's all about taking our time, enjoying the wildlife that's in the bay itself. Finding our comfort zone on the glassy water comes easy on a day filled with summer's glory. What a beautiful day. We're on a stretch of backwater largely overlooked by most folks this time of year. I can't tell you how many times I have people come out and say, I can't believe this is only 25 miles away. I feel like I've gone to uh, some place that would require days to get to. Steve says sea kayaks draw only four inches of water, so allow easy access into tiny bays and sloughs. It's a chance to touch history. This is some sort of an old logging tool. We haven't quite figured it out yet, but you can you can get up on the end and see that it's kind of a trough thing. Maybe it fell off of an old boat. Maybe it deliberately was just thrown into the river, hoping the Columbia would wash it away. A quiet way to explore the wildlife hideouts. The great blue heron over here. You see the heron over here that just kind of squawked for us? See him back along the bank back there? Unless you get out there into nature, you can't experience it. Uh, and getting out and going kayaking is the best way to experience wildlife. Especially in the Savi Island, St. Helens area, Scapoos Bay area. I mean, you can go for miles and miles. It's a kayaking mecca. There's a juvenile eagle in front of us up into that tree. I'll tell you what, he blends in so perfect. And you won't see him unless he makes a little bit of a baby move. Love the water, love the outdoors, been paddling the rivers for about 10 years. You see everything that you don't see from shore. Get down on the water, see the wildlife, deer, osprey, eagles, mm. it's, it's great. It is that and so much more. Time and place where nature's touch restores the soul. You feel like you're a million miles away from it and yet you're not. Steve tells me that his paddle trips are perfectly suited to newcomers. In fact, over half the folks who go aboard those sea kayaks have never paddled a stroke in their lives. So it's a wonderful outdoor adventure. Plus, they offer multi-day trips along the Columbia River so you can spend an entire week camping and paddling along its shoreline. If you'd like to learn more about Scapoose Bay kayaking, you can check out the details on the Travel Oregon website. If you'd like, consider making the Scapoose Bay kayaking adventure part of your entry in a unique travel contest. It's called the Oregon 150 Challenge, and it offers a dream vacation for the winner somewhere in the state of Oregon. You can check out the details on the Travel Oregon website. Finally, get out here and make your own outdoor adventures come true and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.